and welcome back to another video my name is Visha and in today's video I'm going to be showing you my first Cricut project I did a reverse canvas I was so excited about this um I forgot to record my testing it out because the first thing that I tested out was on cardstock paper so I forgot to show you guys me testing that out but that's okay we're gonna get right into this video um today I did a reverse canvas with Nevaeh's name in a uh, sunflower so as you can see I'm in the Cricut Design Space and she I asked her I was asking her what she wanted she said she wanted a flower I was like okay good we can do a flower and then um, I'm gonna text out her name one thing that I made a huge mistake on guys you want to measure your canvas space first and then create your sign so my sign I mean it turned out really pretty I did not measure it until afterwards, but you want to uh, measure your sign first and then um, and then play with the numbers and and oh my God, and then play with the numbers inside of Cricut Design Space. What I was using the reverse canvas was a five by eight from Dollar Tree. Okay, let me tell you guys, do not use the reverse canvases from Dollar Tree. Um, the canvas itself seemed like it had like white paint all over it. So there was paint literally all over my kitchen table from the canvas itself. But it still turned out pretty for it to be my first one. Some things that I learned, um, especially on what to do now that I have been playing with it. I have learned how to add in funds. I have learned how to do a lot of stuff with this. So as you can see right now, I am actually looking for fonts. Um, the canvas design space, it comes with fonts, but then again, it comes with the fonts that you have to like pay like $4.99 for. And I'm not doing that. So <laughs> I just went ahead and I went with uh, one of the free fonts that it had. And like, like you just see me going through fonts and right there, it's letting you know, like you can do this trial for a certain amount of days uh, for free. And then you have to pay like $9.99 a month. And I was like, no, we're not doing that because I think I already, I'm going to be paying for the design space itself. Because I like to design a lot, so there will be a lot of designing for me to do. And right here, I am actually playing with the color because I wanted the sunflower to be gold and her name to be pink. So this is a way that you can learn on how to use two different colors and design space so that, it, so that the Cricut knows to cut on two different colors. I said that so wrong. So in Cricut Design Space, on whatever color you want a project to be, you need it, you need to make it that particular color. Um, so Design Space, know that you're going to need two different colors on the mat. I think I said it right. If, if you know what I'm saying, just you get what I'm saying. So here, like I said, I'm still playing with the colors. I'm still trying to figure it out. Eventually... I figured it out and it's going to be like this. It's going to be gold and the bear's name is going to be pink. So after I get my measurements down to the way that I want them, we're going to go to the machine itself. So guys in design space, this is how it look after you press um, click it. And as you can see the one pink and one yellow mat, those are our two colors. So I'm showing you the um, mat right now that came in the, bundle deal in the pink premium um permanent vinyl did as well as you can see my canvas right there that i got from dollar tree and then the light blue grip mat so i'm going to be using that and also i'm going to be using the transfer tape and the gold that you see under the transfer tape so i just cut my design to the length of it 
I just cut my design to the length that it says to cut in my design space and I'm going to place it on the mat guys this mat maybe because it's the first time that I'm using it it was so sticky but you literally have to like align it good or it's going to cut your mat I have had it like cut my mat multiple times already I mean beginner but <laughs> I have had it cut my mat multiple times you're going to follow the directions in my design space and you're going to see it on the Cricut. Guys, I honestly wish there was a way where I could have like showed you both or had it where you are like behind me or had one of those little GoPros so you can see exactly what I am seeing. So I do apologize for that, but I, I need to learn how to set up the camera so you guys can see what I am seeing um, right now. So in a few minutes or a few seconds, you're going to see that it's going to go like it's going to start cutting. I don't know what it is about this cutting, but I'm just like, wow, this saves me so much time than me sitting up here painting. Now, will I still paint? Yes, I have bought some stencils, um, some vinyl stencils that I cannot wait to use because I have a sign in mind that I want to use it on. So I'm ready to start doing the thing and selling these things, okay? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. So I'm going to let you guys see. I'm going to speed this up a little bit because the only thing it's doing now is just cutting the vinyl. And it's going to cut the pink vinyl and the gold vinyl. Then we'll be back to me talking again. So guys, as you can see right now, I am doing the reverse vinyl. I could not find my X-Acto knife until today. Like I literally found it today because I need to make another reverse canvas. But so I was using a steak knife to do this. And literally only thing you're going to do is just um, go to the back of the canvas and expose that pretty wood that's all you're going to do that pretty wood frame that's all I did there and you see guys what I'm telling you about that um the white paint everywhere on my table that's coming from off of the canvas itself the wood was kind of iffy I'm going to tell you that now it was it's kind of iffy I'm, I had to put wood glue on it <music> Now, I've been looking on YouTube and a lot of people say that this is the fun part. Um, it literally is, but you have to take your time. Um, you do not want to rush this process, especially if you are using um, cheap vinyl because it will break. I caught myself going to Hobby Lobby yesterday and I bought some vinyl that they had on sale. It wasn't the Cricut brand. Uh, it was the paper um, type brand and it was on like it was $8.99. It was pretty cheap, but it ripped on me because one, I wasn't taking my time to do it. And then and two, because it kept buckling. So make sure when you're weeding these um, projects, you are actually taking your time. It is satisfying. You're not going to realize that time is going by um fast this actually this project actually took me three hours to do it didn't even look like three hours had went by that fast and I'm just being honest with you guys I was just like in it and I was ready to see the finished result it actually turned out really really pretty so I'm just going to finish um, weeding her flower and then I then next is we're going to paint it the frame So I'm wrong. It was not um, painting the frame. It's doing the strong grip transfer tape. 
I'm letting you guys know now, you do not have to use the strong grip transfer tape for premium um, vinyl. You could just use the regular one. The strong grip transfer tape works better on glitter. Yes, it does. It works better on glitter. So I, you weed, then you take the transfer tape, you put it on there. Okay, word for food for thought. Put the transfer tape down first um, on the shiny side with the, stick, the sticky side being up and then put your project on top of it, if that makes sense. You get a way better results. Yes, you do. And that literally took me like three times to honestly figure that out. You get a way better result. And see here, guys, with this transfer tape, it was so strong that it did not even want to stay. <laughs> it didn't even want to stay. And I'm sorry my hands were um, in the way. But this transfer tape, it didn't want to stay at all. Well, the flower did not want to stay down at all. So, Yes, I'm happy that I had um, this as a challenging first project. This actually taught me a lesson from my future projects, okay? It honestly, it, it honestly did, especially with the little detailing. I was like, if I can do this detailing, I know that I'm in there. Like, I know that I'm good. And guess what? I was good. <laughs> So now we're going to do the same thing with Nevaeh's name. And as you can see, I'm placing the frame back over it because I honestly want to see how it's going to uh, look inside of the frame. That's what I end up doing. But like I said, you guys, you can do it various ways. Do what do what works for you. That actually works for me because I want to. I'm the type of person like if I'm doing box braids, I literally start doing hair. Once I'm done with two or three rows, I step back, I look at it, I observe it, I see if I like it. If I don't like it, I take it out and I start over again. That is me. I try to do perfection. I know that I'm not perfect, but when I am doing my projects, they have to be my, like, they have, I have to give it a my all. If it's not, if I'm not giving my all, then it's like I have did it. And what was the point of it? Okay. So that's just me. But with these projects, guys, just take your time and do it. Take your time and do it. I'm being honest. Yesterday, oh, I didn't ask you nothing, Siri. Yesterday, um, I got so mad. Like, I was so, because I messed up on some vinyl. And it was a new pack of vinyl. And I was so aggravated that I just threw, like, all my vinyl on the ground that I messed up and the veil was like, mommy, you okay? I was like, no, I'm frustrated. When you get frustrated with vinyl, cause vinyl, you will get frustrated. Take a breather, take a step back and then redo it again. And yeah, this project to me was really, really nice. Like I really did enjoy it. And the veil was so happy cause she's like, oh, you did my name. You did me first. I'm like, yes, I did darling. You was done first. So let's get back to the video, guys. Because I feel like I don't talk to y'all. Oh, my God. I'm looking at it. I have talked to y'all for 3.6 minutes. Jesus. Y'all better listen to everything I'm saying, too. I'm just playing. <laughs> let's get back to the video. So before we finish Nevaeh's project, I'm going to just show you really quickly how I put my husband's name on his... um what is this called? His tumbler or his canteen, whatever it is called, his cup that he takes with him to work. So I'm taking here some alcohol. I'm just going to rub it down. It is. It was already clean prior. That's why you see all the watermarks. And then I'm going to take, um, I'm weeding out his name. And once I'm done weeding out his name, I'm going to stick it on his cup. So I'll show you guys that in a minute. So we're back at Nevaeh's project and I'm using um, paper. I didn't have no newspaper on me, but I'm using paper. This color is called Cold Bat Blue. It's a pretty color and we're using that color to paint her frame. She has this unicorn theme in her room. So any rainbow or any bright colors in her room is what works best for her for us in her room that I really, really love. Like I, she's a little girl, so I like colors and she like colors. So we're just gonna go ahead and paint her frame blue. 
I'm doing two um, two coats of paint that is going to be blue. So I'm doing two coats of blue and then we're going to wood glue this project all together, okay? <laughs> YouTube, I was seeing a lot of people use push pins to um, push down their reverse canvases. You guys, that did not work for me. Maybe because this is not a push pin, it's more like a thumbtack or something like in that nature. To me, they're both the same, but it did not work for me. So this what that is what made me go to my wood glue. But I'm just showing you how the project looks, and it looks really cute like i like all the colors that we came up with together the gold the pink and that um blue which almost looks kind of purplish but it still was pretty so i'm just going to um wood glue the whole design together and then i'm going to cut off the excess canvas around it As you can see guys, this is the finished result that we got for Nevaeh's reverse canvas. It is so pretty. It goes with her unicorn theme that she has in her room. I just love it so much. I'm so ready to like make more decals for her and my husband's um, canister, his cup that he needs for work. So please like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time guys. Bye.